Welcome to the program. Police are at this moment camping at the home of former sports cabinet secretary Rashid Chesa in the 39 billion shilling fake arms deal. Our reporter Rita Tinina is there for us and now joins us live for an update. Rita, several investigations have taken home even at the home of a former sports cabinet secretary. What is the latest as we speak? A very good afternoon to you, Michelle. And since morning, uh, the former CS got another batch of unwanted and unexpected visitors. Officers from the DCI's Serious Crimes Unit had been camping here uh, from early morning, but were denied uh, entry into the home. The gate was locked. But around uh, 11 a.m., uh, they decided to take matters into their own hands uh, in their vehicle, climbed at the top of the carrier, got over the gate, got into the compound, then opened uh, the smaller gate. Uh, to the home, then entered there. So they are camping out inside uh, the residence. We are outside. They are there. We had been informed at some point that Chesa came out to talk to them, but he insisted that his lawyer has to get uh, here uh, before anything can take place. About 45 minutes ago, his lawyer, uh, Brian Haemba, arrived here. He also went inside. So at this moment, not sure where uh, those negotiations or the talks that are going on have reached. But this, uh, Michelle, is really not about uh, the fake, uh, alleged fake arms deal. This is about fraud involving cars. Last year, a woman from Kisumu uh, made a complaint uh, against the Chesa and the purchase of a top-range uh, vehicle. And this is what the police are here following up today. And not just the vehicle for the woman from Kisumu. There we are told there are the four vehicles. Uh, two other different people raised issues uh, concerning the purchase of vehicles. And this is what the officers uh, are looking for today. Five vehicles from re this residence. They also intend uh, to conduct a search uh, in the house uh, for any documents uh, associated or related to the vehicles uh, that they are searching for. But as you mentioned, uh, HSA has had uh, the case involving the alleged uh, fake military arms deal. This is the time that his house is being searched, but the other pre two previous uh, times were over uh, the fake arms deal. He was arrested. He has been arraigned in court over several uh, charges. He faced uh, 12 counts, among them uh, conspiracy to con uh, commit a felony, obtaining money by false pretenses. He was released on a one uh, million shilling bail. And before then, uh, he has been uh, facing uh, in, uh, several he was interrogated at the DCI. He had been taken to court at the JKI before then being taken to court at the Milimani Law Courts. And this is involving that uh, uh, meeting he held at the DP's office. And even before then, the trip he made to Poland, uh, engaging a, a, a foreign company, assuring them or promising them that they will be able to get a contract for the supply of military equipment worth 39 billion shillings. But as I mentioned this afternoon, this has nothing uh, to do with that. This is fraud involving uh, five vehicles, three uh, complainants uh, who raised issues against uh, HSA Michel. All right, many thanks. That is uh, Rita Tinina there with the very latest in that uh, 39 billion shilling fake arms, fake arms deal. Detectives at this moment combing the home of former sports CS Rashid Echesa. More to follow the report.